Can she? Can she? Can she? Who are you, Can she? SSS rank smuggling starvation slavery. Ooh. Hey, hey, chan. People, Seth hey, hey. Today, I'll be covering an educational game about it's the harsh realities game, hell yeah. of post-apocalyptic society. A game where you like can do anything videos you want to games. be, do anything you want to do. As long as all the things you want to do are extremely illegal, morally dubious, and outright sadistic. <laughs> A game where everything wants to either eat you, cook you, suck out your organs, or peel off your skin, and you- I mean, this is like big fantasy uh, simulation, you know? You could do... The not so legal stuff. Mm, I see, I see. Big fantasy right here. Use it as a rug. A game where being forced into slavery is considered a good outcome compared it's to having outcome, your arms huh? and legs eaten off by a pack of giraffes. I'm talking, of course, about Kenshi. Kenshi takes place in a world this that is the has game been plunged playing? into a technological dark age after an unknown disaster annihilated modern society. And now, everyone's back to using straw hats and katanas. Kenshi is actually the canonical sequel to Battle Realms. Many theorize Battle how realms. feudal China ended up looking like this, but the popular opinion is that after endless droughts and famine, the lack of easily available <laughs> rice and water, which what are the two elements game? needed to form a Chinaman, led to an uncontrolled oh. period of rapid population decline. Seeing that China was at its weakest, the Australians invaded, and the rest what? was history. Kenji that plays like some of strange battle... hybrid of Mountain Blade, That's Jagged what? Alliance, and Death Jam fight for Jagged New Alliance, wait! Well, you really also plays that game. Development. Jagged it's finally here, featuring drug trafficking, human trafficking, and giant Ooh, enemy all crabs. The Kenji, oh, yeah. it's got it all. To begin, you need to choose from one of 13 different starting scenarios. You can start as anything from a nameless vagabond, a trader with connections and money to spare, or even a guy who's hit rock bottom. No money, no food, and no, no money, masturbation. No the character oh, no. you start with can no be fully customized. You can start as a human, a shek man, a bug man, or a skelly man, which What was that? <laughs> he got a beer belly right away. I thought he's starving. Why does he have a big tummy? man, a bug man, or a skelly man, which all have their own respective perks and penalties. Humans are, of course, good at everything. But you know what they're not good at? Surviving acid rain, or swimming Wifle. in acid, or getting oh, too no. close to one of these. Bug men What's are that? exceptional. Laser beam from the heavens. You get laser beamed? I thought this is supposed to be prehistoric. Oh, I guess it's not prehistoric, huh? It's like post apocalyptic stuff. Most characters are randomly generated. <laughs> <laughs> These bugmen are exceptional at bug losing man. limbs and slavery. Are they good at capturing slaves? No, they're good at being slaves. Sheks oh, are no. good at fighting. They're not good at reasoning, critical thinking, and having any sort Mine of long-term planning. That's not for Skelly me. men are better at everything, which is why everyone's afraid of them. They're also probably responsible for destroying the world. Being perfect comes at a price. You can't heal. You need repairs instead, and good luck finding a mechanic in a desert. However, the character you start with isn't special. They've got stats and skills like everyone else. They can also permanently die like everyone oh. else. A game of Kenshi only truly ends when all of your die in the game. are six feet under. There's no real objective in Kenshi. That objective can be whatever you want it to be. Just like getting bullied in high school, the core philosophy of Kenshi is get your shit kicked in and get stronger, survive, and fight <laughs> another day. Once you get into that your first- That animation is so weird. <laughs> He's squatting, dude. This snake is about to poop. Look at that. What the fuck is this crouch? <laughs> He's also wearing flip flops. Hell yeah. Based. I mean, flip flops is considered armor, right? So, you know. it Flip flops can be considered armor and uh, a weapon at the same time. I approve of this. Post post apocalyptic because this world was destroyed many times over. Oh my god, multiple uh, post apocalyptic. Mm. And fight another day. Once you get into your first fight, you'll understand what I mean. Kenshi uses a limb based physics system to limb determine whether based. attacks actually connect, and you don't die outright. Usually, your limbs suffer too much damage, forcing you to crawl on the ground or oh, fight no. with a broken arm as your broken appendages limb flail based. around helplessly. If you spill out too much. Wait, you have to control your arms individually? 
So you use your mouse or like swing or what? What the hell? What the hell kind of combat is that? I guess Skyrim is like that, right? I actually don't know. I never played Skyrim. <laughs> no idea. I have no Blood idea what I'm talking about. You'll collapse unconscious instead. You can still wake up from a trauma and bandage yourself together, or rely on the help of trauma. allies to pop your bones back in place and carry you to relative safety. However, take too much damage in a Are short your span allies of time, real you might people lose or an arm NPCs? Or a leg. If that happens, you can install prosthetic limbs, but having a bucket instead of a foot isn't exactly ideal, so hold on to those. But if your organs take too much damage, don't worry about prosthetics oh because you're already fucking dead. All that's left is to strip you down and chuck you in the furnace because oh. cremation is a far safer solution than letting your corpse fume up and attract the bone dogs. NPCs? Remember I said combat uses physics random, because understanding that is extremely oh, important. Auto, okay. Characters make different swings and motions with different weapons which also change as you get more experienced. If a swing physically connects with an enemy it counts as a hit. Not only that, if there were, let's say, three enemies standing closely packed together they'll all get cut by the same swing. Basically oh. I'm telling you that if you want to die very quickly gang up on an enemy because that's a great idea. He'll take a single broad <laughs> horizontal swing and decapitate your entire what team. What is this game? Have characters duel Why is there so many people here? A variety of attacks. You can even do some crazy micro and make your characters manually evade attacks while everyone else flanks them from a side. Combat is really fucking good. It's I don't understand it. It only gets more entertaining. Do you control one person or do you control a lot of people at the same time? What? NPCs? Are they just NPCs? I don't get it! Why, why is there so many people with names though? Max 30, both. You control both your character and other characters? The hell? My as brain you is get the hang of it. In the beginning, you're nothing but a walking sack of rice wheat. By the end, you're still a walking sack of rice wheat. But hey, you can stage dive leviathans like a baller. But combat's only one of many things you do in Kenshi. It's a means to an end, and achieving any of your a goals requires game? money. Money buys you food, ah, I'm not good at management protection, games. and companions. So you can't characters. get anywhere Whoa. without it. But you can't get it anywhere for free. To make money, we need to explore, see beautiful and bizarre places with our own sets of risks and challenges you such as them, dust huh? storms gas clouds that's why he has a white cannibals, a flesh eating spiders lack of water too much water and this <laughs> i don't recommend water. stepping into one of these why is there a laser dude oh my god so the only real way of dodging them is by aliens? getting out of the way very quickly or by traveling at night luckily aliens? they're not as dangerous the once eye. they fall out of the sky besides all the different places that mm, can get you killed crash. there's a lot of interesting people to meet throughout the world hey i think oh. i've had enough of kenshi for today actually fellow human these are humans what the hell happened here <laughs> what the... hello fellow human mm. I mean, they got some flesh and bones, so I guess they are humans. Enough of Kenshi for today. Actually, turns out they're flesh completely brother. friendly. They just need some help <laughs> peeling Hello, potatoes. Flesh brother. Unfortunately, it turned out I was the potato. I look after and your my skin. Limbs had to be peeled <laughs> off. I can conclusively oh, no. say this is probably the most effective no. weight loss plan I've ever seen in my life. Oh, There's a lot a potato. of factions out there, and most of them aren't skin bandits. And once you meet them, skin you'll realize bandits. they're the even fuck? worse. You can interact with them, <laughs> help them, and bandits. even pledge allegiance to their cause. Or you can kidnap at them and execute their leaders, forcing them Chat to crumble to. and or the yeah, lack yeah. of leadership. Even better, the resulting power vacuum leads to rival factions taking over and potentially expanding across the world. Oh, Kenji head. lets you do that. It even encourages oh you God. to do Flesh that. Sooner or later, Skin your bandits. nomadic lifestyle of running from city to city will get old. Why pay for methanol poisoning when we can make our own? Why suffer the daily struggle when we can grow our own weed and process oh. it into soft, sticky mounds of hash oh. which will smoke 
are going to the United Cities using Amazon Prime. United Here's Hall demonstrating our one-day Prime delivery option. He's currently sneaking past the border oh at a comfortable god. land speed oh my god, he's of 26 not at the miles per hour. The guards don't <laughs> even see him. Me. If they do, they'll he's pretend they the didn't, running. intimidated by the man Naruto running through their oh, gates with yeah. over 50 kilos what a game. of solid hash on his back. As you've probably <laughs> figured out, you can make your own outpost. At the start, it won't be anything special you and you'll be barely scraping by to survive. But once you get some research and technology going, you'll be on your way to establishing a thriving city, provided you don't get murdered, robbed, or eaten while doing so. Setting up an outpost changes the game completely. You now have a place to live, but everyone wants to take what they can't have, and they will, unless your defenses hold up. Each region has its own set of wildlife and factions that will try and ruin your day. Oh my God, in my case, game, I set up in the desert. The soil game. sucked, the crops didn't grow, but at least I was only under attack every day by four different factions. Starving bandits kept coming to beg for food. They got a free bolt in the mouth instead. So, how do you win in this game? Is there a, a winning condition at all? Do you have to be like the lord of the Kenshi lands or something? <laughs> Gotta eradicate everybody? Lead everybody to victory? I don't know. Dust bandits just wanted to kill us. You make your own they were goal. honest ah. about it. The shacks kept asking for a good you clean fight, how you so win. I walled myself off and turned them into pin cushions. The black dragon ninjas? Black dragon ninjas can go My, fuck themselves. We're v1 suffering our second famine know. this season, hmm. and it's all because a pack of weeaboos with tin hats keep dabbing away with our bread baskets. And you know what? The raids aren't even the worst part. It was Sundays, Kenshi, where every Sunday is prayer day, and you don't want to skip out on prayer day oh Prayer you day. missed your bible don't worry this oh, one's no. on me oh you can't make prayer day because you're in a coma from severe head trauma <laughs> i literally do not give a shit oh, i don't no. care if you there's enemies pray. bashing at your gates you raise those shits right now and i'm giving you to the count of five to come pray to our lord and savior okran if you don't come okran? out right now i'm gonna burn this place to the ground and kill every blasphemous pagan who takes the name of the lord in vain and we're gonna do this every sunday Day. Prayer day Make is the best goddamn day. Self, Unlike those lazy sandwiches. preachers in real life, Ooh, the Holy Nation seller. priests will oh, yeah. personally travel all the way to your base together with their faithful team of heavily armed paladins, and I don't recommend making them upset. If you can survive all of that, having an outpost lets Everyone's you really expand on your options. You can even assign people to tasks and functions using an automated job system, and essentially sit back while they generate money and get stuck on terrain. After securing a stable source of food, you naturally want more people to eat it. If that doesn't <laughs> work, buy yourself a couple of animals. They'll eat through your survival rations in no time. Animals are a mixed blessing, so I've arranged them Ooh, in order this? of usefulness. Goats, which are walking sacks of meat. Bone dogs, which are the body Bone cleanup dogs. crews of oh, Kenshi. Very oh cute. I recommend getting a pack yeah, of them just to watch them play fetch with each other. There's also <laughs> garus and bulls, which are walking sacks of storage Beef space boy. and absolutely essential for trading and carrying all of your stolen ceramic bowls. And finally, there's crabs, which are objectively the greatest animals for both land-based and naval Ooh. combat. Oh, real funny Hell stuff. Yeah. Now, show the me a naval squad fleet of them. Is here. I admit, I got really uncreative with naming them after the first dozen or Come so. You're not even limited <laughs> oh, to a no. single outpost. You can Come build an outpost wherever you want. Just be prepared for the consequences once other people start to take notice. From there, the world is your oyster Crab and it's control. waiting to be devoured by your your legions of He's domesticated got, got crustaceans. Your characters it. don't even have to be in the same region as each other. The game keeps track of everything in real time, no matter what? where they are on the map. You can send squads and expeditions out into the wild while your peasants work their lives away in Damn, your sweatshops. This game. And you sort of have to as well. You can't unlock this any of the later research trees without plundering the remains oh, of ancient oh, civilization. Yeah. So you can finally harness the ancient secrets of eggplant hydroponics. Kenshi is a <laughs> wonderful, bizarre, and at times absolutely brutal game with a completely unique setting. It's an absolute joy to play, and I've greatly enjoyed watching my life spiral out Bro, of control as I here. feed no. my newfound addiction. I, of course, give it the biggest score and my highest recommendation. I give it 250 stacks of wheat straw over the insane fucking attack range of blood spiders. Seriously, oh my look at God. that shit. Luckily, you don't have to deal with blood it. Kenshi is extremely huh? mod-friendly 
and most of the issues you have in the game can be easily <laughs> fixed through modding. I've attached oh, my mod list in the I description like that one. below. Two base in the game? Oh, I mean... Oh my god, look at that! Holy shit, what an absolute unit! <laughs> The skirts that are constantly fluttering away in the wind. That's amazing. Free modding. I've attached my mod list in the description below, and it should contain the bare essentials to improve gameplay without significantly changing anything. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot of potatoes to oh, peel. Oh no! But don't worry, Not the potatoes. I've got a lot of free time. As always, he became a skin bandit come, himself. So stay tuned. Also, earlier you this month, beat them, I joined them. Oh god, what the fuck was that? Did you see that? Ooh, oh, 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 oh no! <laughs> no! Why? This is his. This is his wallpaper. Oh my god! Oh, oh no! If I made a shitty website, oh, introducing no. seftseentach.com. It's hot garbage, but it's also got links to all my videos, oh especially my god, the dude. banned ones. What Come the check hell it out. is a that? A warm thanks to the many members of Emergence Guild, Hello, okay, generously sir. funding and <laughs> bankrolling these the videos. Right time. You're all truly uh, wonderful. Have a good one. Uh, that's, no, that's Tarasus. It's very sus. If you mod it, there's so many mods that can break the lore. Oh no, not the lore. Lore breaking mods. How are you doing, guys? <laughs> oh my god, that Thanos picture is gonna haunt me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's a good uh, theme song. Yeah! Lost a limb in a fight, but don't worry, babe, I'll be cool. Oh my god. The ultimate power of a god is now my secret. Is a. It's a poet, and that's an understatement. He crafts words into beautiful poetry. Yeah. Oh, stretch. It's a good one. Good video. Everybody wants a piece who's next. Don't be a fool. So that was what you were playing. This is the ending song. Ending song. This is the ending song.